First of all, I want to say that I've been shooting for a long time, um, most of my life, but I've only been serious for about the last 10 years, and I've been buying, well, for the, for the most part of the last seven years, I bought all of my supplies, especially my poaches, from um, Simple Shot. My favorite poach has always been Super Shore Poach and the uh, um, kangaroo leather poaches. Um, but I'm going to show you why I'm not buying my poaches at uh, Simple Shot anymore. Their quality has dropped a lot in the last, only in the last four or five years. Okay. This is a poach that I got. That I ordered from uh, Simple Shot years ago. And when I say years ago, I'm thinking it was at least five years ago. And I'm still using it. You can see how much wear there is in it. You can literally see where the 3 three eight steel has molded around it. Um, and I still use it. Like, I'll be putting this on another hunting set, band set. This is, this is my favorite poach. This is what I use for hunting all the time. Most of the time, anyways. Um, now, that being said, this poach has had countless, countless shots taken with it. Countless band sets over the years. And that's great quality. Here's what I'm seeing. This was a few years ago. I started noticing that they've been wearing out a little bit more. This is probably about three years old. It's got some separation. Used it quite a bit. This is more recently. Now you can see how many band sets I've had on this one. Right? Look at the stretch and the wear, if it will focus. Look at the wear on that. Now I've always said these things last forever. Maybe that's not a good thing to tell people that. Because just like with cars and motorcycles, they don't want to build things to last forever anymore because they won't sell as much. So this is recent, or this was uh, leading up to this a couple years after. I started noticing that they were fraying a lot. This one has, a, I don't know, maybe probably three or four band sets put on it. Then it got worse. This is one that I bought. Maybe not that one. Where is it now? Oh yeah, it's this one right here. The one I just had in my hand. It's not very many band sets that were put on that. And they started becoming delaminated. This one here had maybe one band set on it. And it came apart. Completely. Maybe 300 shots. Another one, only half of it, but see this fraying? This is what you see first. This is what I see first happening. The fraying around the edges, like that, which you don't see in this old, old one, right? But that takes me over to the kangaroo poaches. This one is also really, really old. It's thick. There's no fraying around the edges. I've had multiple band sets on it, as you can see. It's worn. This is the other one that I have left over from the old stock that I had from years ago. Nice and thick. Good quality. Here's the new ones. They're thin. You can see they bend easy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but compared to this one, look how thick that is. Now, I've always stuck up for, for a simple shot. And people, well, I only heard a few bad reviews on their stuff, and it was actually, I think, only one, and it was a guy that was raving on Facebook or on YouTube and he was really pissed off about something 
and uh, he got a fork hit on a slingshot and he tried to get a refund or replacement and they charged him the uh, shipping cost and he just seemed like he was angry. It didn't seem like a real legitimate complaint. I'm starting to ramble a little bit too, so I don't want people to think I'm just ranting. This is the old one. This is one that I've used many, many, many times. This is one I put on yesterday. And I've gotten a boat of one of the new kangaroo poaches. This is one that I put on yesterday. And yes, it's TheraBand Gold. Normally I use um, Precise. But I have lots of TheraBand Gold. And I was just testing out a slingshot that was given to me. And this is what it looks like after only a few shots. This is a kangaroo poach that I ordered. I wish I could get a really good angle on it because it's not really showing it. It's got that fraying on the edge. I wish I had better lighting and a better camera because it's really hard to see that black poach. But you can see the difference when I lay that one next to that one. This one looks like it's falling apart. Like it's it's literally... Huh. The leather is like garbage. I'm fumbling around here, but this one's smooth. It's, I've used it many, many, many times. Countless times. This one's brand new. That is why I'm not buying my poaches there anymore. I have no reason to be angry at them. I mean, I've been a long term long time customer. I haven't spent millions of dollars with them or anything, but that's a major drastic difference in quality. Yeah, I wish my camera could pick it up a little bit better. But anyways, I mean I know that you have to make money and having Having poaches that last forever probably isn't the best idea, but I don't know. It kept me buying them. I mean, the only time I ever threw poaches out before was when they broke here. And this one will eventually fail there. I've had a couple of others fail. And I always buy by bulk. I, I tend to give them away on my slingshots, too, that I build and give away or sell. So it's not like they're not being sold or, or used up, and it's not like I'm not buying a lot. I just think that they should go back to the old quality control, highest quality ever products, you know, for the serious shooter. That's sad. Yeah. Anyway. It's probably going to piss a lot of people off that or hardcore um, Simple Shot fans, and I was one of those guys that would get mad if somebody said anything about Simple Shot. But this kind of a change is making me rethink that. Old one. New one. It's not the same quality, not even close. It just shocks me. It really does. Anyway, just a heads up for everybody.